In this video, we will look at how to draw and interpret bar graphs. A bar graph is a display that shows us the count for each category in a set of data. In a previous video, we showed the results from surveying 10 girls on which sport they played. We found that two played soccer, three played basketball, and five played tennis, and we used that information to create a frequency table shown. The information from a frequency table is needed to make a bar graph. On the x-axis, we place each category, soccer, basketball, and tennis. On the y-axis, we place values that represent frequencies. Notice that we use a uniform scale. In this case, our numbers are going up by ones. If we weren't able to fit our highest number on the axis, we could choose to count by twos, threes, or something else. Now that our axes are both done, we look at our frequency table to see how high each bar should go. Since two girls play soccer, the bar goes up to two. Since three girls play basketball, the bar goes up to three. And since five girls play tennis, the bar goes up to five. If we add the height of each bar, we get the total count of the sample. We can also draw a relative frequency bar graph. Recall that relative frequency is the portion or percent of cases in each category. We found relative frequency by dividing each frequency by the total and multiplying by 100. Notice that the bars on our graph are the same as the frequency bar graph, but we label our y-axis with fractions or percents instead of frequencies. Let's look at a couple of things that often goes wrong with bar graphs so that you can avoid these pitfalls. While the height of each bar is correct, notice that the bar for tennis is much wider here. Subconsciously, our brains lead us to believe that there are several more tennis players than they are since the bar is so large. The area principle tells us that the area of bars should correspond with the magnitude of each frequency. More simply stated, make each bar with the same width and you should be all set. People love to use flashy 3D bar graphs. However, adding a third dimension also messes with our perception of the size of each bar. 2D bar graphs give a more accurate picture of our data. Here's what we've learned in this video. Bar graphs display the count of each category. Relative frequency bar graphs display the portion or percent of each category. The area principle tells us that the area should correspond to the magnitude of frequencies.